Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Clown in a House, a game that may or may not be a horror game, where you play a lonely clown that explores a house. Perhaps this house is your house. Who knows? Hello. I'm surprised to see you back in my home. Well, not you, but someone like you. Honestly, I was comfortable being alone. However, I'll admit, it's nice to have a visitor with me. I see you're using a keyboard. Hey, hi. You can move around using the classic WASD or the arrow keys. You can also interact with things using space. Mouse is for using items and objects. And shift is used for running. I'll also note additionally that this may be a horror game. It might not be. Uh, there was a creepy clown, or maybe a not-so-creepy clown, depending on your perspective on the cover. But maybe it's just a game about a clown. Maybe this clown's, you know, like I said, lonely. It's in your house. I mean, it's house. I mean, your house. That's a nice pen. I know it is, because I put it there. Hey, I'm sitting. I'm a clown. Ah, sitting. The best thing to do in a moment like this. This is also a game with a lot of endings, so this is a little bit of an ending hunting game. It gives you a moment to reflect and figure out what you're doing here. No time for sitting. We have a house to explore. Can I send this one? Uh, what's in here? A not quite human mask with a desaturated nose sits in the cabinet. Not really something of use. There are two drawers. One is held closed with an old rusted lock, the other is secured with chains. You know this is because you're actually looking at it. Or because I told you that you see it. It's a nice clock, but the hands are stuck. I guess time really is just a concept. I know I'm probably not acting as excited as I should be to see you again. I just don't want to get my hopes up. I'm sure you understand. The door is locked, like my soul. There's a bronze keyhole in the door. Any keys here? A mantelpiece. It looks as empty as you. Oh no! Heh. <laughs> Poor clown. It's just like me. This window reveals what is outside the house. But I would rather you not stand near the windows, please. Thanks. It's a door. You're not allowed to open it because it leads outside. Going outside is not allowed. Why? Is it because it's the void out there? This door is secured by a silver padlock. Okay, so we have two doors secured by locks of different colors. It's too dark to go down there without a light. And we have a place where we can't go because there's no light. We find a small piece of paper under the chair. What to find and how to start? In this house, dare you feel my heart? That was just my guess. Oh, whoa, what's that? I don't know, you left it there. I found something. You dig around the pot of plant to find a silver key. I'm sorry to feel like I might have tricked you. Use a silver key to unlock the door. Good job. Thanks. I'm a pretty clever clown. You can't go back. I just went back. What are you gonna do about it? Some of them are watching me. Watching them. Watch me. Hey, those notes are private. Do you mind not looking at them? I find it interesting that you've already begun to open doors and explore. This makes me both excited and nervous. Oh, I don't think I know your name. My name is Kirk. What's yours? Um, Clown. Kind of quiet, eh? I guess in these situations, up to me to give you a name. You're a bright and colorful individual. Kind of like a geode. You know, the colorful rock. You know what? The first idea is always the best, so be it. You have a name now. G geode? The clown? It's at the shelf you find an axe handle. Well, I'll need the rest of the axe for this to work. So at the moment, it's not exactly what I need yet. A table of two blades sitting on it. You cannot have those. 
what was going on over here with that thing? Pick up a wire coat hanger. Hmm. There's a fun display. Isn't it amazing how many things you can put on shelves? Do you need to go to the bathroom? Maybe you need a moment to reflect. Have you ever thought about how bathrooms are like a safe place where you can be alone with your thoughts? Never mind. I'll leave you alone now. Um, this plunger will be useful. As badly as you want this plunger to play a role in your getting you for a long experience, it won't. Okay! You wanna call me out, game? Sorry, that's just how it works. Way to plunge my hopes. You. The sink is not clogged like the sink below it. It looks like something is stuck in the drain, but it's out of reach. Mm, can I bend this? Use the wire cone hanger, you fish out a door bolt. Why am I using a door bolt? A hamper full of clothes. None of them fit you. Wait. Oh wait. Actually, there's a door handle on the bottom of the basket. Hey! You reach into the basket and take it. I guess I just needed a second to realize it was there. If only I had something sharp. Then I could learn more. You could use the towel to take off your makeup. However, that would just get the towel dirty and that would be irresponsible. <sighs> like Homestuck cosplayers. See how the closet. The reverend we just put in this door doesn't exist. I appreciate it. This door is missing a bolt and a handle. Put the bolt on the door. Put the handle on the back of the door. This house has a few strangers in it. Well, that's... For the least. No one is perfect. Sorry. The painting here represents... Duality of man. Observe the colors and the shadows and the composition of the piece. It's a statement. A subtle message that conveys... Look, I'm just gonna level over you. I can't remember what I was talking about. It's not brilliant in my head that suddenly... Poof, it's gone. I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing something. Because we're fixing up our makeup. A large book case you find a small box. You open the small box, reveal a tiny book. You send the tiny book, you find a bronze key. There's not gonna be anything in the key, is there? Oh, thank God. Sorry, I just wanted to have some fun. Look, I said I find a rusty key. We're not getting any closer. Oh, you little <laughs> god! No clown! No! You're friendly, right? No! Look like I've gone to the great clown heaven in the clown sky. Because I clowned myself. I guess I was consumed. Is that an ending? Oh my god. Well, it just respawn me here. Okay. So I think this is a horror game. Hmm. My clown's still- Well, but the blood's still here. Oh, no. Ho, 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 ho. Ordinary's books and toys. Get the feeling that we live in this house. Must have been pretty scattered. So let's not go near that other clown. This pen has a twin on the other side of the door. That's twin on the other side of the door. There's a couch facing right, plenty of room left. And that's all right. I'm hungry. No, 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 no. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, I was dreaming of one day being lit on fire. This is a little complicated, so work with me, okay? There's a horrible darkness keeping you from entering. You mean the darkness in my soul? Also, there's a gold lock in the center of the door. Those two things are what's keeping you out. That's for the bronze room. Didn't work. Okay. What am I going to use the pillow for? Feed the pillow to the, the man-eating clown. You use the key to unlock the door and find a box of matches. Do that. We need to get rid of the chains. The matchstick box... Does that count as a light source? You throw a match down the staircase. Why'd you do that? There could've been a gas leak. You could've destroyed us all. I need like a proper light.
Uh, I can't let them see you yet. You're not ready. Yeah, I am. Let's go. Hey, there's nothing here. Oh, what's this? A spatula? We pick up the spatula. Now I can open the clown burger place. Together. We serve nothing but burgers with a clown theme. Help yourself to whatever tea there is if you can. Not sure why all this food is sitting out. I wasn't expecting company. There's blood in the window. Or wine. Could have been a hell of a party. Don't stand by the windows. I don't want them to see you. The pie's been sitting for a while. I wouldn't eat it. Hey, stool. It's gas stove. What? The only door here is inside your mind. You can't unlock the door that isn't real. I guess having a strong imagination can't solve anything without action. Find a kitchen knife. You can be careful of that. Can I stab another clown with this? It's more blood. There's a drain stopper plugging you up the sink. Dry paint sits the bomb over the bare ceramic. Oh, it's paint. Hmm. Sure. The bread has been in the open for a while. There's still butter in the knife. I still keep seeing flashing things. It's old timey stove. Looks like a gaping force face with a horn. Plant full of optimism. How cute. Optimism gone. You're not allowed on the patio. It's for your own good. And mine. So we have a knife, a pillow, a spatula, an axe handle, a matchstick box, and a step stool. This should be enough for the A-team. You threaten the sink with your knife, but it remains empty like your soul. Cut the bread. There's already a bread knife here. Two would be too many. Are you even listening to me? Back away from the windows. You got a slice of pie for yourself. Unfortunately, you cannot eat it. So you put it back. Well, what's the point? All right, we're gonna stab the thing. Hey, it worked. Oh no, the cops! Oh my god, the the the, cl the clown cops! You killed him. Why did you do that? Oh no, it wasn't me. It was the clown. I mean, the ever clown. I mean, he was the most pleasant person to be around. But you can't just stab your problems away. Yeah, I can. I just did. This is bad. This is really bad. Do you hear that? Oh, that's the police. You're in a lot of trouble now. You're gonna go straight to jail. For murder. I gotta go. I can't be seen with you anymore. I I don't even see you. you get the cop ending. <laughs> Oops. I guess I'm still dreaming. Dark dream consumed. Now, are they permanently dead? Because when we died before to them, I mean, it left a blood stain. Yeah, they're gone. Uh, just ignore that. Some knife wielding maniac came through here stabbing up the place. Gee, I wonder who would do that. Hey, pick up a free stuffed bear. Dude, knife that cut open the bear. Wait, I did? Instead, you find a gold key. But at what cost? Your bear will never be the same. This is a very passive-aggressive game. Clock hands will move. This is not the first time I felt this feeling. It was more painful before. These are really personal. You think you could, like, not? Put an axe head in your nightstand. Nice! Oh hey, you have some axe parts. It's a shame there's no way to combine them in your inventory. You know, I did notice that. There might be some other way. But it feels naked without its pillow. Wrong bed. Oh. I love how you check things twice. There's a strange door made of plastic. Not to mention that it's locked. Well, we have a gold key. Didn't work. Stab the stab the door. Your knife bounces right off the door. It must be laminate. Okay, gold lock. I use the gold key to unlock the door. The door's gold lock is removed, but the dark force still blocks entry. I told you, it's complicated to explain. Hmm. Let's light the matches. I mean, the, uh, 
Candles. Use the matches to light the candle. Is this gonna unlock a secret chest? I think it's Zelda. The horrible darkness has been vanquished. For now. Kinda is like Castlevania. What's the... I know like, when it goes night, it's like, oh, it's a horrible night to have a curse. But what was the morning? It's something like, the morning sun banishes the night. It's something like that. From Castlevania 2. I'm sorry you had to see that. The gentleman you met earlier doesn't have a name. So I call him Howdy. He was around a lot more when I was younger. Howdy makes people feel good. And always brings the circus with him. He'll give you a costume and treat you like a ringmaster. We made some good memories together. Which is probably why he's so persistent. Although let's move on. For real this time. It's a plant sitting on a table. I'd be confused with the plants in the rest of the house. Because this one is on a table. I honestly want to punish him with honesty. Hey look, free bucket. This plant is trying to grow but it's stuck. He was just a late bloomer. Here. Stab it. Smash bullet. You see a slip of paper sticking out from behind the clock. Don't forget to order plane tickets. Cryptic. You can't paint Kalsi, but it's too high on the shelf. Place a step stool on the ground next to the shelf. Using a step stool, you can now pick up the paint that is high up on the shelf. You feel taller. As powerful as standing up made you feel, I'm sure there are other things you can do right now. Inside the little dresser drawer, you find a tiny... Sparkle of hope? Small... Baby... Crowbar? Gordon Freeman! I really didn't plan for that, but okay. You have the world's tiniest crowbar. How we grow big and strong. Just got a planet. <laughs> that would have been a little too zany, maybe. The door is locked blocked from the other side. You try to pry the plastic with your tiny crowbar. It's steadfast. This? You put all your friend to pry the boards loose. There's no change. They must be taped on pretty well. Tape? Wooden, the wood of the handle is... That's a superior wood door, okay? It's that superior wood. Can't... This hard handle can't beat it. So Geo walks up to the tub and uses a knife on. Wow, is this something he would do? Is he the type of character that is so uncaring and shut down from horrors of what he's witnessed so far that he'd even allow this? Or am I forcing this upon him? As a masturbatory angle to prove how much he and I are so important to each other. Doesn't matter. Do I give up my own responsibility to deep into who he really is? Geo, is that what you really want? It looks like you've made your decision. What did I do? What did I do? Wait, no, no! I wanted to know everything about you. How you worked, felt, and fought. I figured if I knew everything there was to learn about you, I would feel complete. But I still feel empty. I guess learning about you was the best part. Now that I know your secrets, the magic is gone. I don't care anymore. I guess I've outgrown you. Oh well. Gotta run to the store and pick up groceries. Help! Oh god, is there a CG for this? Oh my god! I guess I'm addicted to exploration. Wow, this game is... I thought it was gonna be like a little bit... A little bit later we're gonna get to the dark stuff. I thought maybe... Maybe it'll actually be kind of funny. Like a funny dark game. No, we just skinned a clown. Specifically ourselves. But yeah. Did this permanently change because of that? Oh, no. No thanks. I know enough about him now. That way, that's implying that's a different clown. So it's a new clown every time? You can't stab your way into ever his personal thoughts. Wait, the spatula can defeat it. 
Why do you want to go there so badly? You throw the axe head against the door and it bounces off like rubber. It does because I say it does, okay? It didn't land blade first. You did not throw it that way. Okay, we got the crowbar to break the chains. It's a drawer you find a paintbrush. There's paint and a paintbrush. So there's no way to combine them in inventory. I wonder where we can use this. Hmm. What needs to be painted? Can we break this? You stab the window, but your blade bounces right off. Oh yeah, we can paint a door. You can't do that. The paint would get everywhere. You should pour on something first. Sink. You pour the paint into the sink. Good thinking. And then this. You have the paintbrush in the sink, coating with paint. You're ready to explore your creative potential. You simply paint the door. This is truly your masterpiece. Five minutes from now, you'll absolutely hate it and just give up on your dreams. New area. Who does this painting belong to? You, me, it's hard to say. Guess when I'm building a home, it's mine. It's like giving birth. Bet you have to let your child out into the world to be scrutinized, hated, loved, or judged. Once it's out there, it's not yours anymore. So I don't want to go back to one of my old homes and tell people their drapes are ugly, or their car patio looks cheap and lazy. But that would be trespassing. See how the last bear lost his head? It's probably for the best if you stay away from stuffed toys. Hmm. Stab it. Oh, I hate these. They're so frustrating because they show up at the worst time. Especially when I try to force them to go away. Let's just leave them for now, maybe they'll disappear. You can't stab away your money problems. Wait, what? No, this is too on the nose. You try to use a spatula to scrape the blobs off the wall. One of the places look at you perturbed. Want pillow? There are many books out there. You should be a little more picky about what you put your precious time into reading. You always change the direction. Even when you change the direction you want to be in. I mean, it's true. Right? Ding dong? Hmm? What are we with that be? Locked again. This is the most functional house. With all the doors being locked and such. Plan is attractive. It's doing its best to make you feel something. You usually look into the drawers, but they're all empty, like your soul. There's a sword on the shelf. Neat. You got a new book, you spot a key. This key may or may not be dangerous. Only one way to find out. Oh, it's the patio key. Anyway, let's check the front door. We did hear a, a ding dong. Coming! Oh, mail! What's this? Someone mailed us a letter. How exciting! Oh, wait, it's a bill. Typical. Someone reaches out to make a personal, meaningful connection and it turns out to be a stranger wanting my money. Let's get rid of it. Okay, so I'm really nervous about this. I do want you to go out there. But I also don't want to lose you. You have me skin myself! Yeah, whatever. It's not like I care about you or anything. Don't you be Sundere! Just be careful. Can you move? Oh no, it's a chair dimension. They've come back for me. Are you still alive? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't so bad after all. Yeah. The juice looks really nice and cold, but you can't have any. It's for the guests. Are I a guest? There are lots of plants in the home. Do, an, do any bare fruit? I don't see any bare fruit. The painting seeing the ground is trash. No one wants it. It was made long ago when people dealt with pain and death on a daily basis. They use paints like this to cope and relate to their suffering. However, people don't die in the least much anymore and everyone lives like kings. Now it's trash. Hey, free rock. Pick up the boulder. It's a workbench. Used to some pieces of objects. Oh, I can build the axe. We only have the tools. A giant statue of a cat. Meow. Mr. Scriptar must really be into cats. Wait. 
stab the cat statue. Don't stab my beautiful cat. Is what someone else might say if you did that. Place the axe head upon the workbench. Shame, all these tools, but no way to put them together. We need some extra help. Bills. How can you fix the perfection of the boulder? No cat doesn't want your monetary problems. You offer the stoic cat a new pillow to sit on. She doesn't want it. Want boulder? The cat is too cool for a rock. Well, picky. Want some bills? They're being like Hellfire knocking at the door to get you out, Ben. Misery can be a master motivator. Because you have no choice but to move forward now. They were defeated by bills. Like everyone is. It's a clown. You aren't as smart as you think you are. This is a chair where the cushion sits and thinks. This plant does not exist yet. Well, it's trying. Various book titles you don't recognize. Each one its own galaxy, perfect into existence by time and passion. You feel guilty knowing you will never read them. Something heavy could be placed here. Boulder. Oh, thank you for placing that boulder there. It looks great. I've been thinking about ways to decorate this house more. I really look like what you did. I'm curious to see what it looked like if it was on the other platform. Would you mind placing it over there? Picked up the boulder. What's this? A polite little rabbit sits on the chair. He doesn't want any trouble. In your haste to attack the polite rabbit, you accidentally cut yourself. Didn't I tell you to be careful? Obviously you can't be trusted with sharp utensils. Hmm, that looks pretty good, but I'm not sure if it's good as it was on the other side. Why don't you try moving it back? Okay. Pick up the boulder. Oh god, I'm bleeding. Like, I'm legitimately bleeding. Look, I'm tracking blood. Now it's on this side, I'm starting to wonder if it would actually make more sense to move it back to the other side. You know, I'm not really feeling magic as much on this side as I did the other. If you just move it back, I'm sure I'll feel it again. I know you're working very hard to move this back and forth, and you're doing an amazing job. I just need to feel that like this belongs to me. So if you could just move it back to the other side one more time, I'm sure that's will be the last time. Um, I'm walking a little bit slower as I cut the boulder. I don't know, this still isn't perfect. It needs to be perfect that people will say, Kirk, this is the best house you ever created. And you lead your team like a king. They'll ask, how do you do it? How do you get people to work so hard for you? And I'll proudly proclaim, it's because I have a natural charisma of creative people. By telling them what to do and how to do it. I'm therefore created by proxy. This situation is a rarity. And you are the first person this has happened to. So bear with me and move that boulder one last time. Come on, clown! Go! I know it's getting late and you're getting tired. But it's important that you keep going. If you don't do it for me, do it for the team. Team you and me and Manly. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. You seem to be slowing down. That's no good. The success of my home depends on you continuing to work hard. You know what might motivate you? Free boo, free beer and pizza. Yum. Does that sound good? You don't drink. Okay, weirdo, how about this? Money? I have something that is sure to motivate you. A validated, signed, official, very real certificate of exposure. You're hereby exposed to hundreds of thousands of people who will see your work and know that you exist. Geo the Clown has awarded the certificate of exposure. Congratulations, signed Kirk S. Hey, if you're exposed to this clown through my video, leave a comment. Prove that the clown certificate of exposure actually worked. Let the motivation course through your body. Now that you're rejuvenated, go ahead and move that boulder to the other side of the room. Come clown dying! 
<laughs> no, there still isn't it. Last time, I promise. Move the boulder back and then we'll be done forever. We did it. No, I'm dead. Wait, there's never a clown. What? He took my boulder. No, that's not quite right. Why don't you take that boulder and place it on the other platform? What? <laughs> I guess that was a tool. Okay, so let's go... Man, I'm still bleeding. Let's go back. I'm curious... What's going on? Is there gonna be like a dead clown right there? Yes. Was the point of the bullet just to kill me in the end? You set the alarm for... Well, it's set. You can feel your eyelids getting heavy. Pillow. You fluff the pillow and put it on the bed. You can feel your eyelids getting heavier. Your alarm is set, but something is missing. Plenty of books, far too many. A knife. A spatula. You can't focus here. I'm not comfortable in the front of this mirror. Some are kings, some are clones. You are nothing. I mean, considering how disposable these clowns have been. The old door is locked from the other side. Can you find a way in without a key? You see two box and pick it up. Oh no, now I can repair the axe. From the distance, the shelf looks normal. You look closer and realize the books are all painted on. Can we scrape this off? No. Will this bleeding ever stop? Using the tools and the axe and the handle, you assemble the axe. I'm personally excited. Axe sided? Because it's an axe? Which means I have to use an axe pun? It's like, it's law? Part of the, uh, the, the axe pun code? Oh great, pigs now have to board this back up. Hey, these are like the heads of the things we encountered. I'm trapped here forever. I'm rotting from the inside. Who am I? I'm not here anymore. Did you know that spider silk is incredibly hard to harvest and it sells for a lot? I hate looking at all this wasted potential. You're trying to figure out why this painting is so captivating. You feel a little closer to the person who made it. I have a confession. I helped make this. In a way, I helped make everything in this home. Am I a good artist? I guess it depends whether this painting inspires you or destroys you. Sorry. I tend to go on sometimes. A plant made of hard plastic. It's pretty to be alive. Can I stab these? Come play with me again. Your body's my body. You'll be back. You always come back. You can't kill me. Maybe with an axe. What was the point of this room? Well, maybe we'll find out later. I mean, there's other things I could use the axe on, probably. Yeah. Can we bust on the door? You did it. You busted through the door of an axe. I don't know what you're thinking. This seems familiar. Like I could have yelled, Here's Geo! And all the work and no play makes Geo a blah, blah, blah. But I assure you, this idea is completely original, and I am no influenced by the ideas about this side, this home. In fact, it would be cruel of me to take advantage of your nostalgia like that. So I won't. This home that I created for you is strong enough to stand on its own without lazy callbacks. Although it was still kind of fun. Did 
Did you really think you were the only one here? Probably shouldn't stay here too long. I might get lost. Close that gun on the soap. Play more video games. That didn't work. This is one of those suction cup bath mats and it's stuck pretty well. I think Bumby seems trapped underneath. Maybe it's a quarter. Just dispatch under a sticky mat and pop the suction cups off the floor. But on one of the edges, you find a red key. It's not a quarter, but it still could be useful. Sweet. It's a porcelain sink. It's a little dirty. You will never silence me as much as me. Hey, not kidding now. Stop snooping around. On the toilet, you find a toothbrush. Ooh, useful. You. What's in here? Toilet was already clean enough, and your brush is already dirty enough. Does this thing need the red key? Red key unlocks the door. Uh oh. Come back to me. At least the act, but the door is locked. Flip the switch on the wall and the ground shakes. See, the ground is shaking. I'm not just going to tell you, but make you feel it. But why did you use the switch to make the ground shake? Let's look around the house and see if anything's different. This is the brightest lamp you've ever seen. It's not even lit. It's soaking wet. It's a wallflower. It doesn't like dancing. You move the chair block in the door. You're free to look around the home now. You press a button. Stab it. The shelf is right next to the action. Best seen at all. Hmm. It's fun going from object to object trying to find new stuff. Discovering new things and learning more about this home. Or does it feel like a task that needs to be done quickly so you can find the exit? It's hard to know whether you anything is work or fun. I used to love building furniture. Until I realized how stupid and pointless that was. Now I build houses instead. Houses of the mind. In back of one of the dusty shelves, you find a note. You need to order two plane tickets for next month. Notice that these are pink colored instead. Whether that matters or not. Oh, this changed. Oh, the door changed. Uh... Okay. Sure. This looks promising. The end. You find note wedge in the crack of the statue. 45-82-23. You are a bright, perfect star in the sky, and no one will see you. Word. There's nothing inside. Can I just hit it like this? No, that didn't work. No effect. You maybe I get like a ball. You're much too young. So, 45, 82, 23. But I win. You find the front door key inside the, uh, Hey, guess what? What? Congratulations, you win! There's no need to go any further. It's over. We have both come a long way. We know so much more about each other, and I feel a great sense of fulfillment knowing that. Um, you know, we've come this far and done stuff. Sweet. Let's go. See you later. Hey, why are you still moving around? Still haven't used that key on.
stop, seriously. If you think of going outside, don't. You'll die. No, I won't. I'm a clown. Clowns never die. I know I've been acting passive-aggressive towards you, but the truth is I still need you. I've... You, you, you skid me! That you made me move a boulder around! Look, I'm gonna be honest with you. I guess I'm still a little angry that you left me before. I could have treated you a little bit better back then. Though I understand the truth now. You have to be protected. I'll keep you safe here. But if you leave, who knows what will happen. See you. Now that you're back, things have been great again. Look at all I've made for you. Have we been having fun? All I wanted was to keep you happy. But I guess you don't care. Nope. Did we win? I think we died. Oh god, it was the void. And it was done. Just like that, I felt myself sink into the couch. This is a pretty good show. We just have one more episode before I get up. I wonder sometimes, how much longer will I be on this side of the screen? How long will I sit here before he comes back? If he doesn't come back, am I still alive? I guess it doesn't matter. Just one more. Was that an ending? Hello? I'm surprised to see you back in my home. Well, not you, but someone like you. Wait a minute. Is it you? Did you come back? I can't believe it. Usually you don't return this quickly. This gives me tremendous hope that I, maybe I'm not dead after all. I think that if you keep going, I might be alright. Maybe. I hope. By the way, I have a gift for you. It's a lamp. Just my way of saying thanks for coming back. Going back out again. Seriously? You're leaving again? I can't believe you. You would ever die than not stay with me? Yep. <laughs> Are you going to commentate on the fact that I've done this twice in a row? And again he left me. I don't understand what I did wrong. Do I even need him? Why do I miss him so badly? Why do I keep returning to him putting myself through this? You keep coming back because of me? Am I special or are you? Let's go again! There must be something wrong with me. Alright, look, there has to be a reason you keep coming back. Maybe you're meant for something? Let's keep going and find out. Oh, we're going again. So what's down here? We have light now. Okay. Oh no, you're bleeding. How long has this been happening? A very long time. An even better question might be, why is this happening? I tried to stab a rabbit. Hey, look at that. On the floor, do you see it? That's blood. That must mean that someone died. That's scary, right? Nah. You skinned me. Actually, that's not scary at all. It would be scary if it were a dead body. This is better. Who knows what that body will do? It might suddenly turn its head and look at you, even start chasing you. Although it's not doing anything right now, it would be much more frightening if the body was moving around. Oh no! It's not doing anything. Sir? No, this isn't scary. This is boring. I feel like the more I add, the less scary this gets. I should focus on making the scare mean something instead of making you just react to it. Wow, that is really profound. Oh, I have an idea. Let's do a jump scare. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> that was... not scary either. What if I add more sharp teeth? That would make it more scary. More teeth. More. Nice. No, this is all wrong. It was the anticipation that made it scary. That's it. That's what makes things scary, right? The fact that something suddenly catches you off guard. Then you down a path where you read a message and... Suddenly, without warning... 
while wearing what? No, this is still wrong. Jump scares seem to get less scary every time I use them. I was an idiot for thinking I could scare you, and then you're gonna jump scare me? Now what do I do? I've played my hand too hard. I don't feel like doing anything. I'm so depressed. Maybe after I take a nap, I'll feel better. I'm gonna go lay down. Jump scare? Good night. Jump scare? I guess I didn't know. That was an ending. You try to jump scare, you ending. Yeah, it's just called the jump scare ending. That's it. Oh god. And walk down to the basement void again. So why is this bloodstain here anyways? The shelf is empty and full of webs in my soul. A spider condo. Nice. The painting here resembles a face. It haunts you like your worst nightmares. The face suddenly looks so familiar. Like a predator from the past or an evil grin. They know everything about you. That you're weak and they will destroy you. You're done. You're finished. Actually, there's no face in the painting. However, now that I told you it's there, you won't be able to unsee it. It's a chair. Used to punish liars. A slightly bent candle stand. The basics of it is covered in wax. The couch has all sorts of tears. It's like it's been for more than you. The imprint in the chair use tends to happen when you sit too long. Find note stuff in the cushions. Check out line for order for plane ticket. See, there's the plane ticket thing again. And once again, it's pink paper. There's tons of seating down here. Never so many people. This plane is locked away and alone. In some ways, it's trapped, it cannot grow, but others is perfectly safe. Kind of bittersweet. Foreshadowing? You see a key card in the back of the old shelves. The door to the dryer is shattered. No wonder I had to get a new one. Because we're done here. We're gonna use the key card here. I want the door to the attic. We did see that cat thing going here. God, and there's all these stairs in the void. Hmm. Oh no, is that? It's that cat again. Meow. Don't get close, it's nothing but trouble. Your time is up, old man. Features now. I see something laying inside the small pond on the shelf. Does all this digging make you tired? Or are you just making your bed? I about had it with you. I find this kind of creepy. You find a plastic key deep within the shelves. Oh, for the plastic door! You think the artist slaved over this work or knocked it out in a day? Me building a home is the same as creating a painting. You can build it quickly or you can put your whole life into it. The scariest part is when it's nearly complete. What if the architecture is too old to be too modern? What if it breaks down or I can't finish it? What if the art attracts the wrong people or land turns a swamp? The value of the home is only how much people will pay for it. And I can't control anything else about it. Command. Help! You do not know me. Can you help me out, cat? It's always so happy. Why? It's nothing to be happy about. Stop smiling. All does is eat and sleep and hate some days of the week. Garfield, meow. She looks hungry. For travel? Wait, the plane tickets? You pet the cat, but refuse to acknowledge that you did. The cat makes a weird, creepy purring noise. Gross. She looks hungry. Hey, come on. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean you should stab it. Kane.
What are you doing? I'm just gonna sit there. This could be a way to cope with the situation. It isn't going to fix things. Even if he did finish, it'd only be bittersweet. This is a very poetic shot with a dead clown in the corner. Come on. There's an entire house to discover. Is this your way of punishing me? By ignoring me when I need you most? Okay, fine. I don't need you. I knew you couldn't help me anyways. So this is it. We're just gonna sit there. Yep. Well, I hope you find success in your endeavor. You know where I'll be if you ever come back. Won't be coming back. We just kept riding till all the end of days. I guess I'm just doing this for the fun of it. The, the the music that plays when you get an ending makes you think of Metroid. Like it's really close in some ways. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you get these endings in order or not. Because this would imply we're almost near the end of the game and we missed a lot of endings here, but who knows. Oh god, there's a clown skeleton here now. It's a hyper-realistic skeleton. It's been here for a very long time. You fit to the plastic key into the slider and unlock the door. Oh. It's a toy room. There's drawings. There's the one that ate me. There's the one I haven't quite discovered what it is yet. I was so young when I played with these. I guess I keep them around because it reminds me that I used to be a child once. Burn it till the helper in the past. <laughs> Whoa. Perhaps all these characters are just the past, and as in, there are imaginary... F well, one of them, like, kind of ate us, so I'm gonna use the term friend loosely. Empty toy box. I... I mean you. You pick up this stuff and put it away. See, they, they changed their... memories. My old dice. I used to love board games. I mean, I still do. I just don't have nearly as much time to play them anymore. I guess if I did now, I wouldn't be able to get nearly as much work done. Give me those because you're stupid and weak. This is my least favorite toy now that I'm older. I do remember making up a ton of stories of this thing. Usually the truck was hauling precious cargo, and would be attacked by pirates or some kind of evil villain. Anything you've ever done is pointless. Stop playing video games. You'll never, like, become as successful doing that. That's my wooden pose figurine. Although in all honesty, in my personal life, my dad was actually very supportive. I used to draw pretty well. No, not so much. I guess I don't really see the point. Everything has to have a reason or a purpose. Usually that purpose is to make money. Oh no, is that... Benzo? Oh, I love this little guy so much. He used to keep me company, but I couldn't sleep. Sometimes I would make up these little stories where I would fight with him, and he would run away. Then I would do something to make it up to him. It was so dramatic, or I was so dramatic, rather, even as a kid. You don't need this anymore. Oh, those are my old marbles. I used to make little mazes out of pieces of wood from my dad's garage. I felt so much joy trying to get the marbles to complete their course. Then I'd pour as many as I could into the maze. They wouldn't all make it. That's kind of how life is, isn't it? Like the rest of the anime. All these things had a huge effect on my life. Now they just hurt to look at. I want to return to them. But it feels so wrong. Like I'm throwing my life away. I feel like I'm chasing a dream that I should have let die a long time ago. I work, build, and create. But I feel nothing. 
I play the music, but all I hear is... Evil Clown! Silence. Nope. No thanks. That's boring. I lost my inventory too. I don't think so. What can I do as an evil clown? Aside from like scare kids and laugh about. Well, Georgie. First off, you can go to the local comic book and anime store and switch out everything. And when I say switch out everything, I mean everything, Georgie. We'll switch it out. We'll put on some nice, good Western animation like Teen Titans Go. What is the point? What is the point? There's a trail running here. Can we leave as the evil clown? Well, I don't want to break scripting though. You never know if it's like a bug or something. I sometimes worry about that. Because I've done it before. I have broken scripting before. But why? Maybe another time. Oh, it was an ending. I guess I was insecure. Hmm. Growing up. See, some of these endings are like, some are deaths, but other ones are like... They're... Almost... Required symbolic things in your journey. That's the best way I can describe it. Oh, I found something. Stop caring about them, care about if you care. Like, I should listen to this, or I won't. I don't know if I should be proud or disappointed. You've really proven yourself to be quite the nosy person. Digging around in this house and rifling for every door, shelf, and plant. I guess it really says something about you, or maybe something about me. You know what? I feel like you and I have gotten a lot closer. Call bonding, if it feels right. Does that mean I found every note? I prepared something special for you in the closet. Why don't you come by and check it out? Which... Where is the closet again? There's a lot of rooms. I don't remember where every room is. So what I get? He's coming. Everyone be quiet. Oh, is it my birthday? Hey! So that's what you look like? Surprise! Hopefully we didn't scare you. This is a private party for your eyes only. Come join us. Well, this? It's underwear. Don't be prude. We're embracing the fun of embarrassment. Sometimes it's fun to be a little silly, right? Are you confused? Are you looking for a meeting? Stop. Turn your brain off. The world is a scary place. Responsibility is a burden and life is too short to be living in fear. So embrace the fun while you can. We could throw a flustered party for you like this every day. Let's live like this forever. Yeah, we haven't even talked to the cat yet. It's interesting when he mentioned the, the underwear thing. With the figure to the left, the one gaster looking thing. I wonder if that's the narrator or not. I guess I came crawling back. Oh god, I spent too much time with them. I've become one of them. Huh? What? Oh, weird. What was I thinking about? Oh well. I've become a clown ghost. A really sad one. I guess I'm just lost.
Why don't we just stand by here for a while? Are you even listening to me? Back away from the windows. The dialogue did change. You can't even imagine how hard it is for me to tell you this. I'm embarrassed by you. If people see you, what will they think of me? They would say, Kirk, you're so weird, or, oh, you just want attention, don't you? I don't want to spend the rest of my life being outcast all because you want to show off. Is Kirk just ashamed of being a clown? How will I get a job? How will I find love? People love clowns, maybe? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It's not like someone else's judgment physically hurts me. The embarrassment isn't caused by them. It's caused by the loss of my emotional control. Come to think of it, why do I care what people think of me? So you know what? I'm going to embrace this. Geo, I want you to stand by the windows. I want everyone to see you. Okay, I'm standing. In fact, I want you to dance. Hold X to dance. You can do that? Oh yeah, I can dance! We're pretty good at it. Yes! Wait, why did you stop? I was just getting into it. Shake, shake. Yes! It feels so good for everyone to see you like this. It's liberating to be yourself. A dancing clown? To tell everyone I'm going to be whoever I want. This seems like a good ending to me. When you embrace how silly you are, nobody can call you silly. Because that would be stating the truth. And there is nothing wrong with being silly. Let's keep dancing like this. Let's dance forever. Yay. That's what life is all about. Having fun before you're gone. Thank you for showing me this. I feel like I got in touch with a deeper side of myself. I'm going to the club. Bye. You go, dancing clown, Kirk. Get the dancing ending. Oh my god! I guess I found myself. So look, yeah, it looks like the endings are somewhat in order. Self-acceptance. That means there was a few possible endings I could have gone before this. But no, then sexy party. There was, that's only if you get all the notes. Well, we did have access to all the notes. Hmm. Maybe it's more like both appearance order and a somewhat thematic order. Now, is there going to be like a dancing clown here? Just permanently dancing? Yes, they still got the suit on. Look at him go. Dancing the night away. I'm like some people just stand there not dancing. I can dance. Look. I wonder if I can dance somewhere else. We would like the ability to dance. We can entertain things. I think we maybe can hit this button with the, the pointing cane. Because of my poking stick. Right? No, it's not an item. Wait. Hey, look, it worked. Wait, did I end the game for good? Well, you're finally done. You didn't quite reach all your goals, but it's not so bad. Uh-oh. Now you can ride down the other side of the hill. You had no wedge in the crack of statue. We got that before. I want to go back. This was a terrible decision. I'm an old clown. You laughed, you cried, you felt it all. The ghosts of the past don't haunt you anymore, now they bring you joy. You will be forgotten, but that's okay. You don't need to be remembered to feel satisfied. You met a lot of amazing people along the way. Those are the ones that mattered. Life isn't a roller coaster anymore. Now it's a gentle boat ride. To the end. God, that's one sad dead clown. I guess there is a way out. Let's have a moment of silence for 
Whoever this was, it used to be me. I was the clown. You try to resist a sick and twisted logic, but in the end you always do what I say. You brush your teeth with the dirty toothbrush. It's not so bad. But the aftertaste is horrible. You can feel your eyelids getting heavier. Come to think of it, I'm pretty tired too. I guess we can cool off for you and just relax. You came by once, you'll be here tomorrow, right? But what are you waiting for? Go to the bed? It's so nice to lay in bed. It's so warm and soft. No worries. No responsibilities. It's almost like you don't have to feel anything. Don't think, feel, and be tennishin. Getting up is such a chore. Why not lay in bed forever? People, thoughts, situations, they can't hurt you here. You can let everything you deal with disappear. Mmm, the void. I feel like you could stay here forever. And soon I will be asleep. I don't have anything to say or do. Nothing to prove myself. Nothing to prove to myself or anyone else. It's like I don't even... Exist. I guess I didn't try. It's like the Metroid tile screen. I just can't unhear it. Sounds very Go back to sleep. That one was self-acceptance. That felt like a good ending to me. Aw. He's so cute when he's asleep. Shh. Better not wake him up. Fourth time might be a bit much. Alright, this is getting old. I'm not acknowledging this anymore. Well, look at you, you've visited every painting in the house. Leaving all the secrets to creating a work of art that will leave a lasting impression on others. You seem like a man of taste. And you probably, obviously, appreciate the arts. So I want to do something for you. I really think that will help on your journey in becoming an artist yourself. What? What? Well, that's their opinion on art. It goes for your own good. The world for an artist is a dark, horrible place. It's a life filled with self-doubt, loathing, and regret. Not to mention how much others will take advantage of your creativity. The music industry steals money from musicians. Studios steal from the lives of their developers. Entertainment steals innocence from the young. Having love and passion for what you do makes you a prime target for others to prey upon. Not to mention you're missing a spine, and existing without a spine is not an existence you want. I was merciful to you. You should be thanking me. There must be an ending for me getting all the plants, too. Because, like, the paintings, they, they turn gray when we observe them. God. Hey look, a smiley face. I guess I'm cold now. Mercy kill. Look, I'm trying to be blind. However, you really try my patience. There's nothing in there that's interest to you, but to me, it's very personal. Just trust me, stay out of there. Alright, stop. I understand your curiosity, but put yourself in my shoes. Imagine you had a very private room and you asked someone to expect that. But instead, they continually disregarded you and kept trying to see what was inside. How would that make you feel? Obviously you don't have an empathetic bone in your body, but maybe you think this is funny. It's hilarious. It can only make me uncomfortable and then laughing at my insecurities. I tried being nice, but now you're making me really upset. Don't make me beg. Just let it go. Please don't make me do something we'll both regret. I'm warning you, don't make me do it. Uh-oh. I'm in the void again. I'm sorry I had to do that. I can't go back in there. I was starting to think we might have had something together, but now you're here, trapped in the void. Maybe a few thousand years will give you time to think about what you've done. When you return, you can find another home. Of course, I'll be long gone by then. But you will have someone else to tease and make fun of.
There's a lot of endings tied to just like continually inspecting something. I guess I was insecure. So that's one of the later endings. The heart? Wait. You actually sold my brittle from the node earlier? Most people forget that node exists by the time they get to the attic. I did for a while, but then I remembered it. But you didn't. That's very interesting. I want to let you in on a little secret. When I first hit that note, I was originally going to send people in circles trying to figure out various riddles throughout the home. I thought it was going to be hilarious, until I watched every struggle with it. It wasn't as funny as it was sad, so it made it easier for you. Hmm. I don't have a lot else to show for this. Actually, wait. I want to take you somewhere. Come with me. Where are we going? Are we going on an adventure? When I first started in this home, it was actually going to be a lot different. I pictured you as a floating spirit being chased by Howdy. In the opening, you were only going to see his legs and he would just stay out of reach of you. Kind of creepy, eh? Oh yeah! I see. Why is there so many goats? This little guy is vampire ice cream. It's going to be a cryptic character meant to serve as a metaphor for obsession. They just move around the house and I can keep an eye on them. If they don't play nice, I remove them. Not everyone needs to stay in my home. Stab it. It's a few of the expressions from the Goat Lord. Pretty neat, huh? Originally, this wisecracking demon was going to be the main antagonist. That was before I patched up the home and made it into something else. Maybe I'll work on it again someday. I guess sometimes I get too excited and start building before I have a chance to really know if it's somewhere I want to live. I also have this idea for a doghouse, too. But enough about that. Smug. Originally, this wisecracking demon was gonna be... Okay, it was the same dialogue from here. This older guy was who you were originally going to be. You're gonna have a sword and fight demons. I might actually want to play as this guy now instead of a dumb clown. However, this is what I settled on. Who knows? Maybe you get to be that ghost someday. Stab it. Oh, look at this. Hey, look! Concept sketches! These are a few sketches I did when I was reconstructing the original concepts. I build many homes and sometimes forget they exist. Occasionally old homes float by, giving me a look at my past. Some of the homes seem kind of childish now, but it's cute that they still exist. Not all homes are good. That's a story for another time. I hope that was good enough to make up for the work you put in. You may exit whenever you like. So my... Like, I'm partially wondering, like, is this... story partially the offer, like, the actual developer's kind of... feelings kind of coming out? Because I'm taking homes as... In some ways, you may be able to take it as, like, life. Like, you know, the life you build and whatnot. But also, it could be, like, creativity. Because there's a lot of, like, creativity themes, like, paintings and game development, this and that. And since the, the creator of the game is an artist, an animator, I'm wondering if there's, like, a nod to that about the... about the nature and the philosophy of the artist and wanting to do something that may not necessarily give you the most success, but that's something you're trying to apply yourself to. Equivalently to, like, being told to put away the toys, you know what I mean? That's how I'm kind of taking it. The clown is just the player, it's just a tourist seeing into the person's mind. So that was an ending. You've been chosen. I guess I didn't give up on you. So, three more endings. Four, I think. I'm assuming, since the, the description of the page says 20 endings, I'm assuming this one right here, this bomb slot, that's probably like the final final ending, the epilogue kind of thing. But there's two endings we can get fairly early on in the game, it looks like. Hey, wait a minute. There's so many wires. C 
secret. Oh, aren't you clever? Going outside the boundaries, you were never really one to follow the rules. Speaking of rules, I'm still trying to figure out the rules of this house. I'm worried that some might not be good enough for you. I'm worried that I'm wasting my time putting all my thoughts into what would well you won't do. What if I spend all this time working, you don't appreciate it. They could add an achievement system or a goal or something. They could give you the ability to shoot at stuff. Nice! Nah, what if I added unlockable skins? You can spend money to get different experiences. That's great. In fact, why am I doing all this creative stuff when I just have an online store of purchasable gems made to pass wild difficulty spikes? It could be free to play and that would break down the purchase wall. Once you're in, you're hooked, baby. Yes, a hundred thousand little geos running around spending money. If one percent of you spend a dollar a day, that's a thousand dollars a day. Do you know how much that is annually? Three hundred sixty thousand per year. Holy cow, I could easily retire. I wouldn't have to kill myself trying to do all this for you. Many would just pour in while I sat here doing whatever I want. This is genius. Keep dancing, you stupid clown. Keep dancing. Oh, I don't want to dance. That's fine. I'll find another geo to replace you. When that clown stops dancing, I'll replace him too. Hi! You know what's amazing about all this? Even when you're gone, there will always be another bright-eyed, bushy-tailed clown to dance for me. Thanks for the money, idiot. See ya. Get the gacha ending. Why is there ghosts? The gacha ghosts. Only 999 experience the wow! Funny clown experience. I guess I stopped caring. Jackpot. So cute. If you want to set up a price tag on him. Oh, yeah, we can dance here. Hey, what are you doing? Are you dancing? That's wonderful. It's cute to see you get all excited. I remember when you used to dance all the time. And Muffer used to laugh in the kitchen. Okay, that's enough of that. I don't have time for your bullshit. Stop what you're doing, get off the dance, we get back to exploring the home. No. Dance if I want to. Let me dance. Put an old sponge lying behind the dresser. What, what? Secret. What do I do with a sponge? Hmm. Oh, so now you want to be normal, huh? You want to stand from the crowd. Turn yourself off. we will just end up like everyone else, blissfully ignorant of the bigger things in life. Whoa! I'm no longer a cl well, I'm look I look odd. Now what do I do in life? I'm normal. No, seriously, what do I do? Do I just leave like this? Maybe we can leave like this. It's never late night. Reading documents, filling orders, busy work. This is what it means to keep yourself from going crazy. It's nice not to worry about all that back there. Never really existed. Or did it? You know, it's getting kind of late. Although tomorrow is another day. It's safe here. I can keep myself busy. Good night, everyone. See you all tomorrow. It's your computer. Don't touch it. People are paid more than you to break that stuff. Hey, I got a knife. Still. 
Now, is this the end of the game? I'm not supposed to bother them while they're making their job obsolete. We'll top over to over any day now. Now that you can't be bothered with. Hey, copier. The printer's jammed. Stab it. Eventually you start to wonder what the difference between your desk and theirs is. There's nothing worth using this on. Stab it. Anything else around here? Don't really see anything of note. Is that the end end of the game? Yeah. We didn't get all endings though, we're missing a couple. Did that count as an ending? No, that counted as the, the last ending. So that was the ending of the game. We're not getting, we don't have these endings yet. Well, I can dance too. Cool. Wait, are you? Huh, that's interesting. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing. Hey, look at you, dancing up a storm. Actually, I have something special for you. Down in the basement. Stop dancing, come check it out. Now I'm gonna keep dancing. Well, I can see why they let us keep being the clown then. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. The doors are locked. You aren't going anywhere. No need to know the truth. We both know you aren't who you're pretending to be. And that's because I watched you die two years ago. We hadn't seen a movie together in years. You said Lady Bird had good reviews. We sat close and I felt nothing. I asked what was wrong and you didn't respond. I was confused and scared. The moment I needed you the most, you ignored me. While well, you sat there with a stupid smile on your face. Silent. Well, you know what? I don't need you. There's a chair for you sitting and thinking about what you did to me. Oh yeah, the liar chair. It's plenty to do my home and I don't need your help. Projects I've ignored because of you. You can just stay here and wait. Just like I've waited for you. I've got a table of sand. See ya. But why? Yep, we're waiting. Oh, that's actually kind of scary. I guess it's all gone. Oh, it's one of the earlier endings. Interesting. Although you can't really get that till the end of the game. So yeah, so this doesn't really matter much as far as order. It's a little bit, like I said, but some things I guess they put earlier. Hi. Just ignore that. 
This isn't real. It's an imposter trying to lead me down the wrong path. A sus path. I know that you are the real deal. You would never lie to me. This place is too weird. Let's get out of here. I plan keeping you alive while looking pretty. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself. You've touched every plant in the house. I have no idea what your obsession with plants is. You know what? If you love plants so much, let's just add a few more. Wait, what? Does it look good enough for you? Or you want more plants? How about that? Actually, here. Here's some more. Is that good enough for you? You obsessed over plants so much, you now have unlimited amounts to dig in, fondle, and sniff. Unlimited plants works. Or how about this? A plant mo- wait, plant monster, yeah. Now you can fight the plant monster for the- Actually, that's not a bad idea. A plant monster that you have to fight. That's how this ending will go. That's brilliant. We did it. We finished the house and now it's- No, never mind. This sucks. I'm bored. Delete it all. I don't want to get to see the plant monster much. It spawned outside of the room. And in this room, there'll be plants everywhere. Hmm, well. Seemed like a good idea. No, never mind. Maybe I'll come back to this some other time. Oh, a new summoning salt video. I'm gonna go make dinner and watch it. Help. I guess I'm just bored. Seems like all that's all the main endings. This last one's gotta be like some kind of like... Basically a finale ending. Well then, we've done it all, haven't we? Good times, bad times, it's all been a journey. Through heaven and hell, we've created great stories together. There's one last thing I'd like to show you in my home. I've been saving the best for last. Why don't you come outside? Through the front door. Oh, okay, this is gonna be the finale finale. The real life ending wasn't counted in the CGs. Wow, look at you. Is that the, the goat thing? You came a long way to get here, I'm impressed. I guess you owe you something for your hard work. Surprise, guess who? It's a monkey. It was apes all along. You don't recognize me, it's me. Kirk, face reveal. You expect me to look different? <laughs> Whatever, anyways. I've appeared to you to reveal the final truth. That you are my child. Come forward and give your father a hug. Drink. Work. Reproduce. Eat. Sleep. Play. Okay, I lied. I'm trying not to laugh. You're not my kid. Well, not by blood. But in a way, I'm like a father to you. When dad tells you to do something, you should always listen. Even when it's something you don't agree with, it makes you feel uncomfortable. You do it. Now your father is thirsty. Get him a drink. Drink. That's a cookie. Hey, look, a cookie. Feels good to pick it up. I'm so full of energy. I need to run it all off or I'll bother you all day. Let's play. Now I'm exhausted from all the play. Another cookie. Now I'm tired and want to rest. Tuck me into bed. Now that I'm rested, I feel like I can do anything. Hmm, what do we do next? Hey, free cookie. Now that you're too old to enjoy anything anymore. I need to live vicariously for something else. Go make babies. Wait. Okay. Well, that's nice. Now you have 18 years to deal with that mistake. 12 if you're a monster. Or a clown. Hey, free cookie. Now I'm hungry. Go give me something to eat. Oh boy, I'm so full. I couldn't eat and never bite. Ah, 
I think I'm tired from all that. Let's go get some sleep. How long will we be doing this? I had a weird dream last night. I was back in college and lost. When I finally found my class, all my teeth fell out. Weird. Man, I'm parched. I could really use a drink. Cold and delicious. That really quenches my thirst. Can I stab you? I want to play. Let's play. Well, don't blame me for trying. Now I'm exhausted from all the play. I need to prove to the world I'm not lazy. Time to work. Why did you do something that you don't want? Hey, now you're falling off line. Time to strain up before I strain you out. Listen, I'm trying to be patient with you, but you aren't properly obeying. Maybe time out will teach you a thing or two. Oh god. It wasn't a bluff. Time out over. And you get it right this time. Huh. You're really testing me. You certainly don't want to see me upset. So follow my orders. Do as I say, not as I do. Reproduce, drink. Okay, you little troublemaker. Time for a paddling. Wait, what? What? No, 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 not the pals. Just remember, you brought this on yourself. Reproduce. I don't know what to do with you. All you do is disobey me. You think I make the rules up for fun? No. I make up the rules so I can feel superior over you. Drink. How could you betray your father? I give up. I can't control you. All I wanted was for you to be better than me. But you'd ignore me and I have no purpose. I'm going to fade away. I can't make you any better. No. The heart. Oh my god, it's the Super Saiyan Cat. Let me ask you a question. What led you to this point that you're at now? Are you here because you wanted to be? Or were you tricked by a series of manipulative tasks? Products promise you a lifestyle, and personal identity to trick you into spending money. Video games manipulate your natural instincts to keep you playing. Coworkers praise you and make promises so you will work late. Goals are often twisted by others to get something from you. As we get older, we realize this, and the world around us begins to crumble. Are we in control of our lives that everything we find joy in is manipulated by others? It's important to be aware of this, and the decisions that we make. As we do this, we can begin to gain control of the noise inside our heads. That's why I created this experience for you, for him, and in a way for myself. I'm sorry for manipulating you to make a point, but I hope you feel a little more complete. Or at least feel a little more less alone in the world. This is the last piece of the puzzle. Thank you for finding me. You may exit when you are ready. Can we stab you? Rawr. No. Well, you know, you always gotta try. Okay. So this is the, the second true ending, maybe? Pins. Because I think you can get the sponge ending before this, when what we did. But I mean, like, you can get the sponge ending pretty early. But the sponge ending did not give a CG or beat was tracked in the, um, the ending list. This one was, I'm assuming, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, got CG. I guess it wasn't so bad after all. See you soon.
So I'm using it anymore in the main menu. So yeah, so it was going in circles, consumed, exploration, silence, jackpot, mercy kill, sexy party, dark dream, alternate reality, go back to sleep, self-acceptance, starting over, lost in thought, jump scare, the void, the end, boulder, growing up, and then epilogue. So I guess that's it for a clown in a house. So like I said, I had interpretations about this, about the nature of being a creative, like an artist or something, or just following your dreams in general. There were some strong themes of suppressing your childhood or suppressing creativity and the, the kind of like suffering that comes along with it. Uh, there was themes about expressing yourself, about being yourself, with the whole dancing thing. And there was a lot of like absurdism. Obviously there was a lot of things that were just done for kind of humor that I feel like they wrote they kind of thought of something kind of cool or witty or something, and they're like, how do we wrap this around like some kind of symbolism? That's what I, I kind of felt with certain scenes. So it kind of jumped around a bit. But the game describes itself as like, perhaps a clown has visited your house as well. And the, like I said, the house is, you can, I think you can take it either as the body and the mind. You can take it as a creative work, or you can take it as like how you live your life. One of the three. Kind of a mixture, maybe. But it's definitely like a mental kind of psychological world game. I liked it very much. I would say the message probably gets a little bit muddled because of how absurd things are, but I do like how absurd things are. I like the ending hunting format, how you have to kind of like, kind of like use our brains to kind of put two and two together, like, oh, how do we get these endings? And there's actually pretty good hinting on how to get every ending. Even the one where you dance as the, the evil clown, there's like a little bit of like a trail into the kitchen. So you're like, hmm, maybe that's how I, I like, maybe there's something in there, you know what I mean? So it's a well put together kind of surreal game. Some people may not like it because they may think it's too surreal. Maybe they might think it's like a little bit gimmicky, but I think just the, the sheer, sheer conceptual kind of absurdness of it all with the clown, uh, the clowns that eat you, this and that, and this and that happening really makes up for any kind of things with like pacing this or that. The closest game I actually can think of, um, it kind of made me think of like I was playing Yubiniki or some kind of hub exploration kind of base game and then a bit of the other game it wasn't like even it was the uh it's the one where you're in an office and there's like a narrator constantly narrating over you it was made with the source engine like half-life the stanley parable i think that was called this made me think of kind of like the stanley parable meets human meets clowns um it's a little bit of lisa because it has some kind of similar humor beats as lisa did so it creates an interesting mix it creates a whole interesting enough experience Anyway, so think of watching play Clown in the House. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.